What's up, everypony? This is Silver Eagle from Ponyville Live, and you're listening to the MBS Show. Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode 84. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Daniel Anthony. Hello, Norman. Hey, Daniel. How are you? It's good to be back. We miss you. Miss you too. No homo. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that, but yeah, <laughs> it's great to be back. It's just like, it's been a crazy, crazy long time, and um, let's just say dengue fever isn't fun. Oh, how's your family, man? I heard that everybody got hit with the dengue fever, like a fucking oh, combo. Oh, yes, we hit the royal flush, so basically everyone's recovering really steadily. Oh, that's awesome, man. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Well, uh, let's move on to our guests. And our guest for this week is Loose Cannon from Ponyville Live, Silver Eagle. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Thank you. Good to be here. Thanks for having me. No problem, man. Getting you on was a challenge, but hey, it's worth it. Hey, I, guess. I know. So, Silver, how are you? I'm doing very well. How are you? Fine, thank you. Uh, well, kind of derpy because I am full of derps. <laughs> You were full of derbs. You stayed up late last night. Yeah, just to help a friend, man. That's good. So how are you doing, man? Like, it's what time is it for you? Is it um, 12? It's here? noon. Oh, noon. That's cool. So any plans for today like that you can share? Oh, no. I've actually got a show. I'm doing a radio show this evening on Ponyville Life, on Ponyville FM. I'm doing a radio show, oh. um, uh, and it's Feeling Regal with Silver Eagle. Oh, that and, rhymes. Uh, it does. It, I know. It's just. It's kind of a silly name, but it's not like a podcast. You know, it's not like this. Um, but it. It. it uh, uh, it's just like a song request show where you take, um, you know, uh, songs that you want to hear, and then every once in a while, I just oh sort of chime in. Oh my start gosh! Yeah. I, was always, I was. I was always wondering whether there was a brony version of these kind of radio kind of shows because you know EFN's mm -hmm. on autopilot all the time, and all the other brony radio right. stations are on autopilot. So, about time. It's like yeah. a human auto DJ. Yeah, exactly. It's it's uh, it's well, it's like how radio, like real radio stations work. You know, like a lot of the time they'll play music, but they'll have like a host, like who yeah. sort of interrupts every once in a while to just you know give little tidbits of fun stuff, and then back to the music. You know, like that's kind of how I like to do it. It's just like a regular radio station. Why don't you step it up to something like a top 40 or a top 30? A top 40. Well, we actually have a top 40 station, um, but it's all auto DJ. It's not like humans. I mean, um, you can combine the kind of two, you know, and be like, number 36 you, you, this week, Living Tombstone with... <laughs> oh, like a weekly weekly top 40 countdown? Yeah. Like, oh my goodness, do we have 40 <laughs> songs that are like new each week? I guess we could. We could probably do. Uh, I mean, even Rick the, D's weekly top 40 is the same crap every week. So <laughs> it's, I was I was going to say, yeah, I was like, it'd be the same songs every weekend. You know, it'd be like, hey, and guess what? It's Flutter Wonder again. You know, it's like the, like the so same songs are always popular, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, Flutter Wonder is a good song. People should just listen to your show. But the timing for this, uh, you know what? This is going to come out on next week. So catch next week on the Tuesday, right? Saturday. It's Saturday night. Yep, Wait, and I don't. I have Saturday night. Whose time? Uh, uh, Eastern, Eastern time, and I don't know what that amounts to there. I think it's like it's Sunday at noon. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, it's noon. Yeah, Sunday at noon. That would be awesome. You know, yeah, I almost got the hang of the time zone thing until this little thing called daylight saving time <laughs> started coming and, in, and, and, and then ours like, moves. Yeah, they turned back by one hour. Where's the <laughs> logic in that? <laughs> It's old fashioned. It's kind of out of date. We don't really like have any reason to do it anymore, um, but we still do just because you know tradition. tradition. <laughs> yeah. Nope. You know, uh, talking about tradition, we have a traditional show where we ask the guests for but the questions. And who's your favorite character? Who's my favorite character? This is hard because we have a lot of radio stations in Ponyville Live that are named after characters, and so I don't want to pick like one favorite because then all the other radio stations will get <laughs> mad. Would you but like to phone a friend? <laughs> I, <laughs> I do have a favorite, though, and uh, so I'm just going to say it. Uh, it's Luna. This is my favorite. All I like right. Luna. Although, nowadays, my favorite character is uh, the Bat Pony. Oh, the Bat Ponies. Like Echo. You know, Echo the Bat Pony. Uh, I guess it's 4chan's mascot. Oh, really? Um, oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, but I didn't know 4chan had a mascot. Ponies, yeah. Well, 4chan MLP. Like slash MLP, oh, does. slash MLP. Um, oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and 
bat ponies are just so cute. I just love bat ponies. That's my favorite now. What's your favorite episode? Favorite episode? Oh, uh, Bridal Gossip. Oh, really? No, that's a rare one. I, I have to say Bridal Gossip because Bridal Gossip is, uh, and this is, I'm, I think I'm predicting your next question, sort of, because uh. that's the first episode that made me, uh, like, consistently watch My Little Pony because I was so entertained by it. You know, Flutter Guy is in that episode, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Like the, the, you know, you made me sound ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but like I watched that and I was just so entertained by just how, I don't know, just how clever it was that uh, I, I kept watching. And um, this is just I like I had seen this on the Internet, like this pony thing on the Internet uh, on Reddit. Um, and and I, I kind of thought it was silly, but I I figured I'd watch it because people kept saying it was good, and um, so I was watching it in coffee shops, oh, okay. like in, in in public places. <laughs> oh people yeah, kept walk, people kept walking by and asking me. And at first, I was like, "Oh, it's just this dumb show. Uh, it's just this this show about ponies. I don't really care." Um, but then, like a week later, I had already watched like the first ten episodes, <laughs> and oh, like I was. And I was still there at the coffee shop, like not the whole time, you know, but like oh, okay. I would still watch it. I would watch it at the coffee shop. And um, uh, and the next time it was when I was watching Bridal Gossip, somebody came up and gave me a hard time about it. And they said, you're watching Bridal Gossip. Like, or they didn't say you're watching Bridal Gossip. They didn't know the episode name. Uh, they, said, uh, they said, they said, what are you watching? That Are you watching that pony thing again? I said, yeah, actually, it's really good. <laughs> Wait, wait, they said watching the pony thing again. They were stalking you. Again, or yeah, you're watching the pony. Well, it's just my friends who work at the coffee shop. You know, oh, they okay, knew. Right, right. And 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 they're like, "Oh, you're watching that pony thing again." I was like, "No, it's really good. <laughs> like this episode is funny. Like this is really." And they're like, "Oh, brother, <laughs> oh, I can't believe you'd watch that." And then you know, a few weeks later, that was it. Was over. It was. It was just. I was. I was a pony person. <laughs> well. Interestingly enough, the third question is, how did you become a fan of the show? I have psychic powers. And the MBS show is can... over. The game has been won. <laughs> no, oh. no, not yet. <laughs> so that's how you became a fan of the show. But um, That's how I became a fan of the show. So did your friend at the coffee shop um, join in, or is he still a non-believer? No. He is still a non-believer, unfortunately. Mm. He he gave me a very, very hard time about it. Um, but he he does not know what happened after that like we we still talk every once in a while but he doesn't know that i've been to like 15 pony conventions and he doesn't know that i've like you know started running this whole media outlet thing and all this stuff he doesn't know about that he just thinks i sort of sort of like the show still yes you know and and he so he, he he still bothers me. He picks on me about it still. He's like, "Oh, are you still watching that pony thing?" Oh. And I, I still haven't I haven't got up the nerve to be like, "Well, okay, I'm watching it, but I'm also like kind of heavily involved in pony politics <laughs> and uh, kind of a multimedia network person now and I kind of really like the show and I kind of interviewed the people who do the voices on the show and I kind of you know, I, almost, I don't want to tell him that you know I, so I just nah, yeah. you just can be like when nah, you pay the next time you drop your check he drops a check or something you just put your business card on the table <laughs> and be like My Ponyville, Ponyville, Live, business Ponyville business Live I actually have <laughs> Ponyville Live business cards and I've been wanting to like like uh uh surprise people and hand those to them instead of my work business card, you know, like hand my pony business card. They'll be like, what is that? Oh boy. Yeah, you can get Long that story. out of him. It's either be the, what is that? And he'll ask you, or he'll go home and Google it and he'll be like, oh my gosh. He'll Google it. Yeah. He'll go home and Google it. Like, what is this? <gasps> no way. No, no. This whole time. There's a billionaire in my coffee shop. <laughs> a billionaire. If I was... There is a lot of money in pony. Um, I'm making uh, just so so much money. <laughs> I uh, actually, I'm I'm calling you right now, I, like in this call from my jet. <laughs> okay. Hello. No big deal. Don't worry about it. It's you didn't say it was in the air or anything. So no, it's just it's it's one of those. It's just like one of the hollow bodies that they sold on eBay for like 
10 or 15 dollars <laughs> like they're getting rid of the old planes and so Isn't like, it that, it's uh, like hot in there it is it's very hot in this in this chassis of a plane <laughs> in my front lawn it's they've threatened to have it removed the city has called a few times <laughs> oh my so anyway, a... I'm talking about cities and stuff. Uh, what do your family and friends <laughs> think about your love for the show? Talking about cities and stuff. <laughs> Welcome You're aboard so... Cantalot Airlines. <laughs> yeah, the segue there. Okay. All right. What do my family and friends think of the show? Or think of the fact that I like the show? Yes, indeed. Or both. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, my family doesn't know. Oh, my. They don't know that I like the show, which is really <laughs> funny. Because, boy, when they find out. Oh, How the heck did you make That's it to 15 different. brony conventions without their knowledge? Well, I don't live near them. I don't <laughs> live my, near my family. Okay, my family lives it all. Maybe, maybe five or six hours away. And, uh, like, I've, I'm, you know, out on my own, right? Like, I live in, you know, my own place and I, you know, have a job and everything else. And, and so uh, uh, they don't know, you know, and I think it's probably okay. No, the reason I don't. ask is because, like, I'm half Chinese, and you know how big Chinese families can get. Suddenly, one remote <laughs> distant cousin of yours would be like, "Hey, hey, hey, you! You're the one who runs the radio station, right?" I, I'm sure uh, if they, if they knew about it, like if they picked up on it, they would like spread the word really quickly, like right. they'd all know in a week or so. You know, okay. Like, I heard you're doing ponies now. You know, it'd just be just somebody calling me, like one of my aunts, you know, calling me and saying, I heard you're doing ponies now. Now, now my friend. You're coming to the rodeo next week? You're coming to, yeah. He, now, you're, he, ho, on the hoedown and hoot nanny going on in the barn. If you're, if you're interested in that, just RSVP. Um, <laughs> the, uh, uh, my friends, though, well, they kind of have to know. Because otherwise, it wouldn't make any sense that I keep leaving like every few weeks to go places that are like Canada. <laughs> like, like, I'm, you know, like I'm just going to be in Canada this weekend. I you know, missed and my the, FedEx package last week. Got to go I, get it from. I got to go get it from my shipping place. <laughs> like they, they, they sent it back. I got to go fly and pick it up. And uh, in my jet. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, they all know about it, and and they have to be okay with it, or else they're dead to me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, no, no. All my friends are uh, uh, they're they're cool. In fact, most of my friends I made sort of through the community. Like oh. most of my people that I spend a lot of time with nowadays, I kind of met in ponies, and I don't feel bad about that. You know, it's just like I, I stopped hanging out with my other friends because they thought I was stupid for it. They were mean to me about it, you know, and I, and I said, I just, it's just a fun thing I do. I, and, and, but it was this group that kind of, you know, they're a lot more okay with it. And, and so I thought, yeah, probably better friends to have in general. Understandable, understandable. You, you know, mm-hmm. like, we all have all kind of friends. We got the stupid mm-hmm. hipster friends. We got the people who like... <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Oh hey, my hey. god, I didn't know that you were a hipster, Dan. Ooh! <laughs> What be a living outside hipster. of Kate's dream? Are you a stupid hipster, Dan? That's hard. Well, without my without my glasses, I do act like a complete retard. You know? <laughs> Otherwise, I'm only half a retard. Oh boy! No, but honestly speaking, we we have all type of friends from the hipster yeah. to the punk to the nerds. So we have we must have all type of friends, really. Mm-hmm. It's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you need people who are different from you to be your friends, or true. else. You just get a bunch of people who agree with you on everything, oh, yeah. and that's boring. Life is boring like that, man. If people keep just keep agreeing with what you say, it's like, hey, should we go to Starbucks? Yeah, let's go to Starbucks. <laughs> uh, and you never discover coffee bean or Joe's and you coffee. Never, bean. You never discover coffee bean. <laughs> I don't know. I, I go just... to Starbucks way too much. I'm actually drinking Starbucks right now, so that's why it's funny that you mentioned. I wasn't actually sure I was going to talk about Starbucks instead of just saying a coffee shop, but uh, I wasn't sure if you have those. Oh, no, we have oh, them. Oh, we do. We and do. the funny thing is, my birthday in law works there. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Starbucks is everywhere. I think it's just like everywhere in the world. Oh, now. yeah. I think yeah. they have one in Antarctica. They have to, man. It's the monopoly. <laughs> no, they need yeah. to. People want hot coffee in there, and it's got to be bloody piping hot. <laughs> and that's why in some places, it's a bit cold. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, um, with all this randomness, and you already answered the four important questions. Um, thanks a lot, Silver. And let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is housekeeping. Wow, 
I cannot say that word. But anyway, um, on November 2nd, the MBS show crew will be participating in Extra Life 2013, a 25-hour gaming marathon to raise money for six, kid, for six Kids Hospital Toronto. What to expect during that 25 hours of gaming marathon? Well, expect to be a part of the live stream with me and Daniel, I suppose, if he's there. I'll be clowning around as usual. That's awesome. You can also even join us in a game and possibly see me rage at a game. Interact with the guests in the live stream and get your question answered. The guests that will be joining us are friend of the show, James Cork, the sketchy sounds from EFN, sketchy sound live songcast, and the ever so lovely Anneli Heat, the voice actress for Swedish Spitfire and Tigress from Kung Fu Panda 2. We would appreciate if you could come and donate for this good cause. Together we can help kids and improve their experience in the hospital. Links to the donation page are in the show notes. So guys, 25 hours of madness. I'm going to do it. You know, <laughs> 25 hours of rage for charity, I rage on a daily basis. I should be raising a million dollars by now. Uh, only for charity, man. Only for charity. But honestly speaking, um, this is a good cause, guys. Yes. Kids in hospital, they don't have fun. And this will help improve their stay immensely. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you come and join us in the chat, you'll be doing a good thing and you'll be spending time with, well, like I said, Anneli Heat or maybe... Silver Eagle, if he wants to join us? Maybe. I, I really support the cause. I think it's an awesome cause. I was When I was a kid, I was way sick all the time. I used oh, to have yeah. so many problems with um, uh, like bronchitis and, and like lung problems when mm -hmm. I was a kid. And so I'd spend like weeks in bed. If I didn't have a video game thing, like if I didn't have something fun to do, I'd have gone crazy. <laughs> I'd, I, I would just be completely loco. I'll definitely try to stop by on the stream and say hello, although I, I don't hold a candle to Anneli Heed and your other guests. Um, those are super famous. So. Oh, no. They're, they're okay. I mean, you're super famous too, man. No. No, no. You're super famous. I, I love Anneli Heed is Swedish Spitfire. She's famous. She's. I didn't realize that she was a uh, tigress from Kung Fu Panda too. Yep, she was. And I'm she's surprised the Swedish tigress, right? I'll say this. She's the Swedish Angelina Jolie. Ah. Is she real? Oh, my goodness. See what I did there? See what wow. I did there? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> well, but seriously. Be um, ever so lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But anyway, just come and join us and have fun. Because, you know, if you want to see me play... Well, here's the best thing. I got Skullgirls for the Steam. So if you want to challenge me to a fight, come on. <laughs> It'll be fun. Yeah, knock on his door. Talk him about Falcon Punch Skull in the face. Out? Yeah, Skullgirls out for Steam. I didn't know Skullgirls was out for Steam. It's out for Steam, PS3, and Xbox 360. Oh, I need to. Uh, uh, I need to get that. I I supported that. Like, uh, you remember they had a Skullgirls fundraiser? Yeah, I remember like the Kickstarter. Show, like, yeah, yeah, Kickstarter. Um, I I donated to that. I should have a key, right? <laughs> I, I'm not 100% sure you was the tier that you donated. Mm, one of the high ones. Mm. Better check, man. Better check and claim. I have fun because Philia is a good character. <laughs> I've, I've heard a lot of good things about it. Huh? Well, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is news time. In today's news time, special rare variant cover reveal. Ooh. In the previous episode, we mentioned that IDW sold 1 million copies of the My Little Pony comic at retail to celebrate this monument. I wrote this and I cannot say this. Monumental. All right. Uh, this monumental occasion, they will print 12 units of the 12th issue with a special variant cover. Though our speculation of the cover being bedazzled or duct taped to an Xbox One did not come true, what we got instead <laughs> was... <laughs> what we got instead is really cute and funny. Links can be found in the show notes. So, guys, um, who expected the um, well, the twelfth variant cover issue thingy to be cute as this? Like, this is very nerdy. This is really nerdy. I love that how is, they like this. It's so cute. I'm looking at this, and I, I love that. Uh, uh, well, I just love the angle they've taken with uh, shining armor being this nerdy kid. And and yet, Cadence, who's the most popular girl in school, yeah, you know, falls falls for him. 
you know, uh, for whatever reason. And <laughs> just in the corner, can the princess of love compete with the siren call of the comic book? <laughs> <laughs> and it's one of their own comics. It's it's like a it's a My Little Pony comic. Exactly. It's like if you <laughs> I, I I follow comic book canon and I'm like My Little Pony exists in the My Little Pony universe. <laughs> <laughs> it's so meta. <laughs> no, but I just love this. Like it's okay, um knowing Shining Armor, um he in the show, he was kind of the surfer dude. But in the comic, he's kind of the D and D guy. Like, oh my god, he's a nerd. Yeah, which makes more sense, really. Hey, who said D and D guys can't nerd. play? Can't be surfers? No, I mean it's just like I don't. Know. You you have that mental image, like how a surfer dude is, and when you look at this, he's kind of a comic book, a video game, RPG, and then like LARP guy. So like, oh my. <laughs> Can totally totally imagine voice. him, man, like with a totally D and D team surfboard, gets in a car with a dice, the fluffy <laughs> dice hanging from the rear of your mirror. Surfboard. <laughs> he, uh, it was his voice that makes people think that in the show, you know, Twily. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, I'm sorry, I wicked bailed on you, Twy Twy. Um, but oh, wait, 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 that's from Friendship is Witchcraft. <laughs> that's from Friendship is Witchcraft. That's why everybody thinks that sh- that he's such a surfer dude is because Friendship is Witchcraft, like, like. Played on it, you know. Um, Look at dude. Whoa! But I think he, I think he's awesome. Like the way they did his character, because surely Twilight's brother would be nerdy. Oh yeah, for how for how nerdy she is, he would have to be sort of nerdy. Then he got a life, and then he got a life and a girlfriend. I gotta find out some backing info about Shining Armor. The next time there's like a, I just hope like season four probably has this backstory on him where he's moved to some Malibu equivalent in Equestria. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's called Malibu. the Crystal Empire. No, no, no. Before yeah. the, I mean, Crystal Empire is the girlfriend's domain, but you know, before that, I don't think so. No, but anyway, we're, we're kind of digressing. But honestly speaking, uh, this cover is awesome. Too bad they're only doing 12 copies of this. And if anybody gets them, it's super rare. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But anyway, um, this is a good cover. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to say in my mind that the other cover is good because he's holding a purple royal dice bag. Oh, that one. Yep. I like mm. that one. Yeah. Oh, he's a crown royal. Yeah, crown royal. Yeah, sorry. yeah, a crown royal dice bag. I know, I love that one too. Because that's every, like a lot of tabletop people have a crown royal dice bag. People should buy that one if they're D&D. But anyway, let's move on to the next news. And <laughs> Han, why don't you take this one? Oh, yes. Chaos is brewing. And Discord is coming back. During Star Trek The Next Generation panel at the 2013 Dragon Con, a question was asked to our good friend John Delancey. The question was, did, how did you decide to bring the Q character over to the My Little Pony universe? This prompted the story about his involvement with the show and his documentary. And on top of that, he mentioned that he has done four to five episodes and there is a song coming up. And uh, I think that was probably an oops moment. <laughs> because like, Discord yeah, is coming to season four and he's going to sing. Really? DJs. Start your engines. Okay. Things can be found Start in the show notes. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, Discord singing. Yay or nay? Yay, man. Like, hoo Having him sing, awesome. I don't know whether he would be the singing voice for Discord as well, but I suppose he would. Yeah, he has stage experience, so he can sing. He I mean, so, so does Michelle Kreber, but Michelle Kreber doesn't sing Apple Bloom's part. Michelle Kreber sings Apple Bloom's part. Wait, I thought she sings only yeah. Judy Bell's part. Sweetie Belle and Apple no. Bloom. She swings. No, 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 or, or, no, no, no. They're in season four. This is a new thing. Oh. Uh, is in season four, all of the Cutie Mark Crusaders are singing for themselves. Really? No. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. that's right. Uh, Claire Corlett, who does the voice of um, Sweetie, uh, Belle. Sweetie Belle, is uh, singing for Sweetie Belle now. Like she she announced it at Brony Can in Canada, and it was really it was really exciting. Yeah. So we're not no. going to get a country girl anymore? You're going to get a country girl for Apple Bloom. Southern yeah. gospel. <laughs> <laughs> no, but still, still, um, that, that's amazing news. Wow. Um, so, still amazing. Wow. This current season four, that, that is going to be awesome. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, it's very, yeah. very good. Well, coming back. Well, yeah. we didn't expect you to make a return. I didn't expect you to make a return in season three. 
And you know, when my friends when when my friends who sometimes gave up on ponies or like lost their steam to watch the show, they always say, "I haven't watched season three. Yet. It doesn't look very interesting." So Discord's back. Oh, oh, <laughs> and that just motivated them. Trixie's back. <laughs> okay. Um. Kidden's back. Nobody cares. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, but still, but still. Um, in season four, they're going to have a full uh, season, so this is going to be awesome. Oh yeah, about time! I'm already having the withdrawal symptoms from ponies. And I'm supposed to recover. <laughs> oh my! Oh my! So anyway, let's move on to the next topic, and the next topic is guest time. In today's guest time, we have Civil Eagle. That I can just speak with the <laughs> fact. <laughs> <laughs> we have a civil eagle. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, we have civil, that's silver that's eagle. We have that's silver that's eagle. That's uh, hey, silver eagle, how are you doing? I'm doing. I'm doing great. Having fun yet? Yes. Uh, sorry for the derps because this episode uh, is just crazy. That's okay. I don't have podcasts. Uh, <laughs> okay. Thank you for understanding. I think yeah. I think you set the scene for it because you know I've never heard anyone handle the first four questions like how you did it and like uh, the whole thing. No, I threw you off. I'm sorry. That's no, 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 no. I, 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 <laughs> I love it. No, I love people. I love it when people break convention. So yeah, thanks. I <laughs> feel break convention. <laughs> I'm unconventional. Oh, boy. All over again and again and again and again and again. And then so, it's like your favorite pony next. <laughs> how do you, next. next. Uh, anyway, anyway, anyway. Before we uh, banter on, uh, mind telling us who you are and what you do for the people who might who might not know who you are. My name is Silver Eagle, and I am the director of the uh, uh, Ponyville Live Network, um, PonyvilleLive dot com, um, and we are a whole bunch of uh, radio stations, video streams, podcasts, and a whole bunch of other things. And uh, we provide live convention coverage to conventions, and we're just an all around brony media outlet. Uh-huh. That's interesting. So you're saying that you host Brony Radio Station, Brony Video, and Brony Podcast? Yep, and convention coverage. Yes, all kinds of, like, Brony multimedia. So, like, multimedia audio and video in all different forms, uh, you know, whether it's in podcast form, you know, pre-recorded and, and, you know, weekly episodes, or whether it's in live form that you can tune in any time of the day uh, and listen to any kind of pony music. Uh, there's just a huge amount of um, creative content out in the pony world, and uh, we like to bring it all into one place so that people can go in and just explore. Uh-huh. You know, you can explore the the awesome world of pony, and and you know you can hop back and forth between stations and hop back and forth between streams and check out new podcasts and just discover new stuff that you yeah, know you might not have known about before. Yeah, oh, awesome, yeah awesome. friendship is magic, and so. That's what we're all about. Yeah, mm. That's cool. So, obvious question is, how did you get started, and what inspired you to create your own um, Brony radio station? I actually got started as a DJ oh? on on one of the radio stations. Lunar Radio is uh, one of Ponyville Live's radio stations, oh, and, and it was yeah, um, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, it was uh, September of last year. Um, that I uh, started doing a show. Um, it's, it's called Feeling Regal with Silver Eagle, and uh, I, I did the show, and it got you know more and more popular, um, and people started to you know tune in a whole lot, and they said, well, you should really you know you should do this DJ thing more often, you know, or ho- show host thing more often. So I, I started doing it, you know, more and more, and and more often during the week, and you know I started having two shows a week, and you know, I, I got really into this whole radio thing, but you know besides just doing um, the show hosting thing, I actually started doing websites. Um, and this is, it's my actual day job. Um, you know, mm. so outside of, outside of ponies, I'm a web developer. Uh, oh, and, and cool. Designer. Yeah. And so um, like, that's, that's just what I do. And I've done it for, you know, a decade, um, you know, Yay, for, for, coming up. <laughs> geek uh, and, you know, so I, I was already, I had that background, and so whenever like Lunar Radio asked, they they asked for help with their website, and I said, "Well, I can help out with that." And, and then a few months after that, um, this group of radio stations all starts to get into these talks with each other, and they say, "Well, we should all work together because independently, we don't have that many listeners, and and we can't like 
we can't go to conventions and things and say, hey, we want to cover your convention because there's only like, you know, we only have like four people in each of our stations. And, and so they said, well, we should produce, you know, we should get together and form sort of a, a network of stations so that everybody can sort of listen to all of our stations at once if they want to, you know, and, and switch back and forth. And, and we can all have something unique about our stations, but we'll all be together in one big network. Mm. And this sort of changed names a few times, and this is just last year. It's just, you know, fall and winter of last year that this all happened. Um, but eventually they settled on, after going through, you know, a whole bunch of kind of goofy names, um, they settled on Ponyville Live, and then they needed somebody to work on Ponyville Live's website. You know, this newly created network, you know, hadn't, it, it had never existed before, and, you know, it was just this brand new idea. And so I said, well, let me take a stab at it. And um, I uh, uh, started working on the website. And, and then I started to realize that I was really interested in running. Yeah, I was, I was interested in, in the web um, and, you know, in keeping the Ponyville Live website going. But I was also interested in running the, the thing, the mm -hmm. network itself. And, and so... You know, they uh, uh, were discussing who should, you know, be in charge of the whole network, the whole Ponyville Live network, and I threw my name in the hat, and I said, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> and, uh, and, and they said, well, okay, sure, uh, you know, because I'd already worked, you know, I'd already put in a lot of work on it. And, um, you know, once I got into this role, I started to realize that I really enjoy it. Because it's it's a lot of fun, and it and it also depends you know a lot on the same stuff that I enjoyed when I was doing show hosting. You know, mm -hmm. it, you're interviewing celebrities, and <laughs> I say celebrities, <laughs> pony celebrities. You know, it, it's not like they're you know they have they have paparazzi wherever they go, you know, <laughs> hounding them or anything. It's it's not like that kind of celebrity. Oh, it's only a matter of time. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. Yeah, exactly. We still no, you know, and Ponyville Live becomes a full fledged news company with prime time and then we start. PM. It's <laughs> and we start doing uh twenty four seven news. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know, Mr. Eagle, Live. Mr. Eagle. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Eagle, uh, care to comment on the latest controversy? Yeah, and, and we like you know, <laughs> no comment. interrupt people like they're they're on their lunch breaks and they're like, I don't want to talk to you. Um, <laughs> they start punching our cameras and stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, but I, I realized that it had a lot of overlap. You know, the, the the two are really similar. You know, like when you go to do convention coverage and stuff, it's it's really similar to the same kind of skills you have to have. Um, to do uh, shows, you know, radio shows and video shows, and and that it was really useful and it came in really handy, and so I I kept on doing it, and over the last year, um, Ponyville Live has gone from sort of this kind of few stations, not a lot of people had heard of, maybe a few hundred people had heard of, maybe, and that's that's being generous, um, but. Over the years, you know, or over the year, I guess not over the years. Um, <laughs> this last year, we've been um, we've been going to conventions across the world, uh, and we've been to uh, uh, about seventeen conventions total, uh, and that's the ones I've been to, you know, fourteen or fifteen um, that I've been to personally. Um, but uh, we have been to just a ton of different conventions and been doing coverage. We've recorded the panels and put them online for people to see. Which and is the and one more, furthest from home? The one furthest from home for me was yep. uh, Bruni Can, uh, which is in Vancouver, Canada. Um, that's the first time I've ever had to leave the United States to do a convention, and that was very Your first departure from the United States was for Pony. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Yes. That is correct, yeah. Uh, and in fact, I never had a passport um, uh, before. That is so cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Before this That's year, nice. I never had a passport. Uh, even though I live, uh, I think, five miles, or not five miles away, <laughs> um, five hours away uh, from Mexico. Uh, you know, I live in Texas. And uh, it's, it's right there next to the you know, United States-Mexico border. And um, I uh, just never went. You know, I, just, I, I, okay. I never had any reason to go. Um, but I, uh, you know, as soon as this pony thing happened, um, 
I, I decided I'd go ahead and get my passport. It takes a lot of, you know, you have to spend a lot to to go oh, yeah. and get your passport and, you know, do all the application. But I said, all right, it's worth it. This is this is ponies. This is important. <laughs> um, so I uh, uh, I did it and then went and had to go through border control and all this other stuff. It was it was a lot of fun. It, mm. it was uh, uh, it was totally worth it. And I I loved getting to travel and see the world. Um, it was great. Um, and I would love to be in that position. It would be like. Um, Hi, oh. Mr. Eagle. Welcome to Canada. First visit? Yes. Your purpose of yes. visit? Ponies. <laughs> Ponies, no. yes. And that's, you've never seen a more, uh, a quicker uh, interview jumping from country to country. Because, you know, when you go from country to country, sometimes they, they really get on to you, you know, and they'll they'll say, what are you doing here? How long are you staying? You know, and they'll, they'll ask you uh, a lot of really kind of nerve, they make you nervous. Um, but uh, all they did, it, I went and showed up at customs and they said, well, what are you here in, in town for? I said, uh, my little pony convention. They said, Oh yeah, where's that? <laughs> I said, uh, in, it's in Richmond. It's right here in town. They said, Oh, is that this weekend? Yep. Yeah. They said, all right, enjoy your trip. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Oh, they didn't right. ask me. Uh, I, I guess I'm, I'm guessing that you're the, what, Uh, 50th person they asked so yeah so who had, who had said that they were doing a my little yeah i'm sure and, and that that convention was really popular it had uh 890 900 people at Whoa. It. it was yeah it did really well yeah no canada is so nice it's such a cool country um literally it's it's freezing it's, uh, <laughs> it's, really, it's really far north um it's, <laughs> But uh, no, no, it, it was great. Um, and we've we've done conventions in in other much weirder places uh, like Australia. Ooh, um, oh, AU. Mm-hmm. PonyCon AU. We covered that. Uh, we covered uh, Galacon in uh-huh. Europe, uh, in in Germany. Um, and so yeah, we've got people all over the world. Oh, that's Any amazing. Any plans to you know partner with ERR to go to PH PonyCon in Manila? To go to PH PonyCon, I've never heard of PH the PonyCon. Philippines. Oh, Philippines PonyCon. Oh, that makes sense. I thought it was PHP, like the programming language. <laughs> oh, uh, my God. I would totally dig that. <laughs> as, a, as a nerd, if there was a like convention a... that was programming and ponies together, it would be like me and maybe five other people would go to this thing. <laughs> like Brody uh, WWDC or Google I.O. kind of deal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It would be like Google I.O. Uh, it actually, yeah, it's PH PonyCon, and it looks like it's PHP. Pony <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> like when I look at it, I think it's programming related. Um, so this is the second year that they've done this. Yep. Third mm-hmm. year. I guess it'll next be the year, third year. They haven't announced next year yet, but they just had a big celebration for their anniversary. Philippines. Yeah, that would be crazy. a long trip. Oh my goodness! Well, you can that stop by here and time. say hi to us first, then we can. <laughs> how, how far are you from <laughs> the Philippines? No, we're Malaysian, so you can just drop away nearby. Just, you know, I don't. I was going to say, I think you, I, I know you're nearby. I don't know how nearby you are oh, because just I don't know. Flight away. <laughs> Two hours flight. What do you, you can't drive though because there's no road. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, it's islands. Right. True. True. Um, uh, is uh, okay. So, do you call your area Oceanica? Oceanica. Are we I know it's Oceania. Oceania. Oceania or Oceania. I don't know how the hell you pronounce that, but Oceania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We call it ASEAN. It's you know Association of Southeast Asian Nations. Ah, it's near Singapore. It's near Singapore. It's it's Singapore. Singapore. Come on, that is the worst answer you can give. No, seriously. Well, Americans... no, actually, a lot of people know where Singapore is because yeah. Singapore is really like technological yeah. as far as cities yeah. go. It's like one of the. It's the Asian tiger. Yeah, yeah. It's one of the Asian tigers, and so we all know where. And so when you say it's near Singapore, I actually that helped me understand where it was. Uh, Malaysia But... is right there. So hold on, I got to go calm the tiger down. <laughs> I'm looking at I'm looking at uh, a map actually, and Malaysia's all over the place. It's like there's two separate islands. Oh yeah, um, yeah one is and, in the peninsula and one is in the other side. <laughs> so yeah, you know, if you ever decide to go to the Philippines, just come swing over, pick us up from Malaysia, and yeah, we'll join you all. Okay, well that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll you people should Malaysia listen to the outtake of this episode, really, because oh my goodness. So, um, <laughs> it took us a while to get it there. Yep, yep. <laughs> so anyway, I, I'm looking at your website right now, and I noticed something really, 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 really interesting. What? On shows, 
<laughs> uh, I noticed something really interesting. Dan, go look at Ponyville Live right now. Going right now, going right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, whatever, you put it there. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. No, this this you see show what here, is that the one that comes up from near Singapore? <laughs> I think so. So, wow. The comes um, up from near Singapore. Oh, there's an Indonesian? Oh, no, wait, that's not Indonesian. <laughs> oh, no, there's no... <laughs> no, but, oh... Well, silver. Yeah, thank you Excellent. very much, Silver. Oh, we're happy to help uh, uh, promote you guys because um, you guys are a cool show, and we want to make sure that more people can listen to you and stuff. And we also, you know, we don't have hardly any shows from your region of the world, um, and uh, I think it's very unique. And it's awesome. And so, yeah, no, while we were talking, like, on the thing, I was, like, working on adding you guys to the website. <laughs> behind the scene. Like, yeah. The fog of oh, war has cleared. In the the fog of war has cleared. And this tiny little scent be over uh, there. Oh, boy. <laughs> Taking care of now, business. Now, I hope I got it. I hope I spelled it right. Oh, uh, oh yeah, that's right. Asian. Yeah, yeah, it's correct. Okay, good. Oh, cool. I mean, still, wow. Um, nah, I'm isn't, speechless right isn't now, the but word if I'm speechless, I'm not doing... <laughs> no, no, it's, it's correct. It's correct. No, hush! He already <laughs> did a good thing, well, so... Like, yeah, <laughs> hold on, I'll just, I'll just turn it off. No, but... Like, um, uh, no, that's wow. fine. <laughs> no, 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 you don't need to. You don't need to listen to Dan. <laughs> no, but, um, Silva, yeah. thanks a lot. It's, it's, uh, we appreciate it, man. Like, oh, wow. Nice there as well, just notice. Brony time there. Bronyville is oh, there. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This undercover Brony thing looks familiar. What <laughs> does it? Uh, but no, um, Silva, I, I'm noticing that you have a lot of stations here. And how did you get them? Or how, how yeah, did they start working with us them? and stuff? Uh, it was way. It was uh, very yeah. gradual, um, like over the years. Uh, or I keep saying over the years. I always say it like it's. Um, like it's been like eight years that I've been doing ponies. Like ponies has only been like, it's only three years old, like as of yesterday or something. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but, uh, it feels like it's been longer than that. That's why I always say, you know, over the years, you know, cause I've been, I've been doing <laughs> pony stuff for, you know, for a long time, just not this pony stuff. Um, but yeah, over the last few months, um, as we've been sort of spreading and, and telling more people about, you know, what we do and all of the stuff on our network. Uh, we've got a lot of new stations who have uh, uh, sprung up and they've contacted us or we've talked to them and, and they've said, yeah, we want to be on Pony the Live too. And we're always happy to have, uh, you know, new additions to Pony the Live, um, especially if something, you know, if they have something on their show or their station that is something we've just, that we have never seen before. Um, you know, like it's just totally unique, um, then, you know, we love, we love that kind of stuff. Mm. There are stations for bronies around the world, you know, like there's, there's British brony radio, there's a French brony radio station, there's a Australian brony radio station, uh, you know, like, and there's different genres. Like one of our stations is, um, uh, electronic music and one's, uh, you know, piano and soft acoustic music and stuff. So that's that's kind of what we like. Mm-hmm. No, but still, um, your website here, it really looks cool. And it has, Thank you, how do I put this? It really is easy to navigate. That's what we're trying to do, is make it very easy to explore stuff and, and see different shows and stuff. And not, you know, it's not, it's not about us as much, you know, about what Ponyville Live is, because you can tell on our website, you know, other than that big picture thing at the top, Mm -hmm. you know, we don't talk about ourselves that much. And then it's mostly just the stations and what's going on, what's playing on the stations and what the episodes are for the shows. You know, that's way more important to us. Mm -hmm. Would you say that your website or Ponyville Live is kind of a brony media aggregate? It is, Mm -hmm. yes. That's pretty much exactly what it is, is we take a whole bunch of different Brony media and put it all in one place. Um, but then, you know, we get together as a group and we do stuff that it's hard to do as one station, you know, um, like the convention coverage. Huh? Like convention coverage is hard to do when you're just one station because you may only have one camera, you know, or one uh, oh, set yeah. of people who could go to a convention. Um, Pointing to live, you know, when you put all of us together, we have a lot of cameras. 
And oh, we I have see. a lot of people and a lot of, you know, resources and skills and people who are good at streaming and people who are good at recording and interviewing and all this other stuff. Um, and it makes the result really, really good. Mm, awesome, awesome. Because um, I, I'm wanting to mention about the links to your sh- to the show, like um, for our show, mm-hmm. for example, is yeah. you link them to their website, not link them to a sub-link in Ponyville Live. So that That's is right. really cool. Yeah, we go straight to your website. And, and if it's a YouTube video, and this is a new thing we're working on, is actually making it so if it's a YouTube mm-hmm. video, it actually pops up. So you can just watch it right there oh, instead really? of having to like, yeah. Because if you link it, then you got to go back to the website, and then you got to go back to our website oh, and figure yeah. out like. You're, but if you do it as a pop up, yeah, then you can watch the episode and then close it and go right to the next one, yeah. and it's it's a lot easier to do. Um, so that's one of the things that we're working on right now is a oh, new feature. That is cool. That is cool. I just click on our recent episode and it popped up a new one. This is awesome. And it should pop up a new window, and it should take you straight to YouTube. Yep. Mm, the video cool. stream as well is really cool. Really. You have this, um, I noticed you have this PBL special event. Is that your dedicated stream for some stuff, for like uh, stuff. con coverage? Yeah, and con coverage, exactly. We use it for mostly con coverage. And then if we have interviews with like really special people, special guests, um, okay. then we, we put it on that stream um, just so the whole network can see it. Mm, mm-hmm. Okay. So oh, here's, here's something interesting for me to ask. Um, I hope you can mm-hmm. answer it. Yeah, but um, for the PVL special event, it's kind of uh, video or only audio, like for those kind That's of video, video. just video, special right? interview. It's video, but most of the interviews are actually just audio, like their Skype calls, mm, okay. um, and and we'll put like uh, uh, you know we'll have like a photo slideshow going uh-huh. on on the video, oh, okay. um, you know, or, or if it's like somebody showing off a website or something, we'll have the website up in the video, uh-huh. you know, and stuff. It's, it, we do it that way just because video is easier for us to do. Um, mm, okay. cause most of our things are convention coverage, uh, all right. which, you know, you have to have video for that. Cause if you do just audio for convention coverage, uh, okay. you miss stuff. Right. So um, yeah, just try to paint a mental image of the car yeah, in your yeah, head, yeah, and then when you see on the a microphone just describing, there's a guy on the stage <laughs> and there's a blue costume, and it takes twice as long. And you can just, you know, yeah. okay. And, um, and then he, when you see the photos from the car, you're like, that's not how I thought it looked like. <laughs> here, here's a question. Um, now that you said that, so PVL special event. So um, let's just say an example. Um, you interview. Uh, let's just say Daniel here, yeah, and he's a very special person. Yeah, and Daniel. <laughs> so, um, yep. when you interview him, who in the crew gets to interview Daniel? Or I know there's you, and who else? I do a lot of interviews. Um, uh, Ponyville Live has an associate director. Uh, we are Borg, um, and he also does a lot of interviews with us. And then um, some of the station hosts like the people who host shows on the stations, um, uh, do a lot of interviews too. Um, so for example, to use a recent example, Ethan has mm-hmm. done an interview before, uh, Ethan, Ooh. the owner of, uh, uh, Alaco Alaco. Radio. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and, uh, and, uh, uh, West J, the owner of Philadelphia radio, uh, pony toast, um, uh, pony toast, kind of a, a popular internet personality. Um, cause he does true equestrian radio on Philly radio. And, um, you know, that's, that's a pretty popular show. He also does interviews, too, mm-hmm. from time to time. It's just, it, it's a matter of, we'll, we'll actually talk about it in a big chat. We have, like, a big Everyone in Ponyville Live chat, and we'll just say, all right, we got this interview coming up, you know, and we'll do sign-ups for it, uh, like, for who's in ooh, cool. doing the interview. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, would, it's really, like so, a job board kind of deal. Yeah, like mm-hmm. a job board, yeah, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> so, um, would we be considered to be in that thing? Oh, are you wanting to do interviews? <laughs> well, I mean, we oh, are doing it. interviews. Like our specialty, I know you are. yeah. I know. Our specialty yeah. is um, interviews. We've been doing it for what eighty four episodes now. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, you have, haven't you? Uh, it's like yeah. we have this ultimate exclusive. We're interviewing the interviewer today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, like no, it's, it's just a. So yeah. Norman, um, uh, how did you get started in in? Actually, Norman, w- what is your favorite character? Oh, my favorite character is a controversial one because nobody likes her, and that's uh, well, Fluttershy. My OC. <laughs> it's it's your OC. <laughs> no, your OC. I hate it. Um, 
Yeah, my OC guard has a lot of hate. Well, that's not that controversial because Fluttershy's the fan favorite. She won. Yeah, I know. That's that's because of uh, little kids liking Fluttershy. No, the real Brony is like Rainbow Dash. (laughs) Yeah, the real Brony is like Rainbow Dash or Twilight. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. What's your favorite episode? Oh, my favorite episode is Lesson Zero. (laughs) Lesson zero. Okay. All right. I'm interviewing you now, by mm. the way. That's, that's happening. So you're I know. It's kind of um, meta. <laughs> I'm the one sitting in the middle meta. and be like, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back after the break. Thank you, Dan, for <laughs> turning the tables on me. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. All right. Now, uh, uh, you're welcome, okay. gentlemen. Now, back okay, to the show. Quick. News time. All right. So, news time. Uh, uh, 14 <laughs> bronies were tragically injured after a spaghetti related incident. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, and, uh, like, <laughs> Yeah. See, folks, this is how easy to derail the show. You just it do what you want. It is very easy to derail a show. Yeah, and I'm in the it. when I'm on. Just own it. <laughs> just own no, it. I'm, I'm sorry. Truth, I'm... Like, you know, holding the steering wheel but not looking at the right, not looking where I'm supposed to go. It's like, you're talking uh, to you. holding the yeah. steering wheel. <laughs> oh, boy. No, but seriously, um, <laughs> that's how easy to derail the show. But anyway, um, well, basically, I'm looking at Pony Life, and it is a clean-looking website. Thank you. Um, you said that you covered conventions too, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So you said that you have more than one camera also, right? Yeah, we have more than one camera, yeah. <laughs> we, have, we have several, like mm. five, I think, now. So do you use a complete PC solution, or do you have a switcher like a Teradek or a new tech? Or like, oh, my like, goodness. Like uh, it is, <laughs> we mostly use a PC solution, uh, okay. uh, only because... Things like the TerraCast or, or sorry, TerraDeck and Wirecast and all that other stuff are very, very expensive. Yeah, um, and yeah. Uh, now we do have like wireless, you know, HDMI, and we have uh, uh, switchers and things like that um, that help out with that. Um, but they're not exactly like big dedicated switching units. Um, although at some conventions, depending on the convention, we actually do have that equipment. Um, it you rent it out. You rent it? Yeah, exactly. It depends on, on, on which convention it is. But So we, we buy all of our cameras. So oh all of the cameras, we, we have those, you know. Um, but the switching equipment and uh, video editing and stuff like that, we do that um, per convention. Mm, yeah, just because it's, it's so different. Like, it's it, it, it would be hard for us to find one thing and then fly it everywhere. Mm. Oh, you yeah, know, that's like for, true. That's really true. You for us to fly like a, a big tricaster or something out. Oh you know, yeah, it would, it would cost oh, us a fortune to do that. Yeah, so it's easier to rent locally if we do that. Mm. Mm-hmm. So with the cameras, you said you own own them, right? So we who, bought the cameras. Okay. Mm-hmm. So who holds the camera? Like this is an interesting question that I that's, want to know because um, you say you have five cameras. So who holds the camera? Those are all in my house. Ah, okay. Yep. They're all in really pretty pre-packaged suitcases. We actually have suitcases that have uh, foam molding in the shape of the cameras, mm. um, so they're they're kept really in in good condition when they fly. Yeah, and imagine it's like this property of Ponyville Live on the top of it, something like yeah. that. Right? <laughs> and it does. Yeah, everything's labeled property of Ponyville Live. All the suitcases are blue. Um, oh, okay. you know, like, oh, cool. Like, uh huh. Yeah. Like so it's it's even addition. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, it's easy to tell that it's that it's our stuff. Um. Mm-hmm. So. So here, when you say you hold all the cameras now, mm-hmm. if say, Pony Connie you wants to do a convention in Australia, so would you ship it there or let Australia mm-hmm. handle themselves? Well, Australia in in Australia's case, they do handle themselves very well. Um, Australia has just a ton of equipment over there already. And and so there's really no need to yeah. for us to ship stuff over. In the case of yeah, it, when it's international, it's it's really expensive to ship mm-hmm. things um, across uh, you know across the ocean. It's very mm-hmm. hard. Okay. Now, so in that case, we typically just rent locally again. Uh, okay. Like we'll rent the camera locally. For for the U.S. though, we actually do. We'll we'll either drive or fly the cameras out to each convention. Um, you know, and that's why I've gone to a lot of them personally is mm-hmm. because, you know, I, I bring all the equipment with me. So, you know, I just show up. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, I, are you also considering to... investing in a turnkey solution probably for the future, like the live stream HD 500 or a Mac Wrangler or something like that? Yes, we are. Um, uh, we, well, when you say the live stream, you mean like a, uh, uh, like a independent device that does streaming? The all-in-one, you know, the HD 500, the suitcase thing. Oh, oh, you... <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, I thought you meant the the little thing that bolts onto the oh, top of the no, not that one. Oh, uh, live stream HD 500. Now I need to look at this again <laughs> because I. All right, this is just the funniest. That's my dream thing. PC. It is just a huge super powered computer. It's not really. A, it's just, is it super? Is it not super powered? It's I mean, it's, it's got a it's got a decent graphic card, but the thing, the power of it is that it has the Black Magic um, capture card system inside that handles, I think, eight H- SDI inputs and two HDI. No inputs. way. Okay. Uh, all right. I need to look at this. Okay. This well, is so, so you all. All right. All right. All, anyway. Sorry. Yes. But you all broadcast. Uh, uh, you use uh, more SDI or HDMI? HDMI. All okay. all the way. All right. Yeah, it's completely HDMI. Well, so I cool. got no idea what you guys are talking about. <laughs> We're totally doing nerd talk here, and mm. I know, but um, wow, this is okay. Yeah, no, this is a fortune, though. <laughs> yeah, eight thousand dollars. So expensive. Oh my goodness, this this is sort of like how much a kid costs for a year <laughs> or something. Like I could, just, I could have a kid instead of this. And it I would, would be, take care of it like a kid. You know? I would, yeah, I would take care of it like a kid too. Yeah, exactly. I'd feed it. Um, it's wow. Okay, and they're, anyway. and they're building a control surface. So yeah. No, oh, brother. <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, uh, this is more valuable to me than a kid. <laughs> oh my! I don't, so, I don't really like kids. Like uh, I don't. I don't um, oh, you and me both. But yeah. anyway, anyway, um, <laughs> I. I, I, I we derailed your interview. Yeah, I, I'm getting used to how Dan works the show now. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's been 60 episodes since I jo- no wait 70 episodes yeah. since I joined. Yeah, hopefully you're used to it. No, yeah, no, I'm getting I'm I'm getting re associated with it again because <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he he left the show for about two weeks now and then like oh god I forgot how chaos happens. Oh now he's yeah. back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, but still, um, Pony Bill Live is looking cool. So you you mentioned that uh, you only ship the camera locally in the states, but what about Canada? Did you brought it in? That counts as domestic for us because Canada is really close. So North America then? Yeah. Mm, okay, understandable. So kind of like yeah, if you went to Singapore, exactly, it would be it would be like that because it's right there next door uh, yeah. and. Uh, it's really not that far and, and getting stuff from us to canada and back is much easier than say us to europe or us uh, to asia you know for- i mean i live in kuala lumpur in the middle of malaysia and like norman is this so close to singapore if he throws a blind bag across it might land in, in, in singapore so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, i'm not superman so uh no, still I, i'm i'm looking at uh, Pony Bill Life, and I can this long. I see it's really looking neat and clean. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoyed, and I hope that everybody who visits the website enjoys it too, because we uh, put a lot of work into it. Mm, true, true. Because with, for example, your radio station, you just click on the station and it plays the song. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really right. clean. It's really clean. By the chance, are you the guy who developed the Windows 8 application for ponies? For ponies? No, I'm not. Uh, that is a guy named Rain of Computer, and he is actually... Uh, uh, hold on this thing. Uh, he's, he's in your neighborhood. Wait, uh, what? He, he lives in Singapore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he's, like in, uh, he's in Kuala Lumpur. I'm like, oh, damn. <laughs> no, no, no. He's not in your... He's, I, all right, Singapore is like in your neighborhood, right? Yeah, like yeah. in your part of the world. Um, but yeah, he lives in Singapore, and he is a Windows, uh, uh, Windows eight, and Windows Phone developer. And he's been working with us for a long time. Um, to uh, all of these guys, I know, right? It's it's a really big tech thing. Um, but uh, he works on um, uh, the the Pony Windows eight and Windows Phone apps. They're both really good looking, and they have all of our stations on them. Yeah, that's um, what I noticed because it has mm-hmm. Pony Live, and I thought, is that something to do with you all? It is, yeah, and, and we worked with him to do that. That's why. Oh, so. all right. Yep. No wonder why it looks familiar. No wonder. Cool dude. We we got we got so many friends who help us out with stuff like that, like uh, uh, Hoof Sounds, for example. And then you guys, uh, you you mentioned that you interviewed the guy who does Pony Hoof. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Who, yeah, who who does um, uh, 
he does uh, uh, hoof sounds too. Oh yeah, the new plugin, sounds. yeah. The the Chrome plugin and it and soon to be Firefox plugin uh, for My Little Pony radio stations and yeah. uh, we're on that too. That's True, all. and there will never be a IE plugin. Yeah, he won't make it for IE, and I'm an IE fan. It is Never. really hard to make plugins for IE. I understand why he's doing that. <laughs> Nobody makes plugins for IE. It's like there's like three total. <laughs> One is Microsoft. Second is I got no idea who. Google toolbar, the app toolbar, the yeah. I was gonna say it's the toolbar. Yeah, Yahoo toolbar and AdBlock. I need toolbar for the heck of it. No, but no, I, I cannot say any more good things about your website because if I say it's going to be a repeat of what I just said before. <laughs> ah, well, I appreciate it. Thank you. And and we're glad to have you guys on there as well. Um, well, uh, I, I'm speechless right now because I was not expecting that. <laughs> well, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> really, no. <laughs> not yet. No, no we've just entered the, yeah. <laughs> the corporate ladder. Time to climb. The corporate ladder. You're in the corporate Ooh. ladder. Spook. <laughs> <laughs> The cold, <laughs> the cold, unforgiving world of pony politics. Oh no! Way too. Uh, yeah, things are really rough here, and and it's. <laughs> no, I, I'm I'm just looking at it, and I I got no idea. I'm just speechless by looking at our logos over there. Like, oh my! It's cute. It's you, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, oh my. I, you would never put my OC there in a thousand years. Because... Oh no! After looking at your OC, <laughs> no. What's your OC? It's a slender... It, it's a f- I'm a princess. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You mean like one of those like Fleur de Lis? Yeah, like... Fleur de Lis type of character uh-huh. with a uh, um, long 12-inch long sharp horn. And let me... What? Give... Excuse me? <laughs> Let's nah, just show I mean... me a picture. I got a picture. Give it a second. Because our yeah. friend James Cork drew it for us. One his no, 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 don't say the James Cork one because it was just an impression because that looked a little off. No offense, James, but no, no, no. <laughs> James always draws the truth. James draws the truth. <laughs> How can he know the truth if I'm the only one who knows the truth? Because he saw your character. <laughs> there you go. There. That's how um, Dan's oh, OC looks it. like. This is the real deal. Oh, okay, I was gonna say Dan's sending me a picture now too. Yeah, uh, just to uh, defend uh, himself. <laughs> And no, that's 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 the real that's the real deal. The picture I commissioned. Oh okay. my goodness! <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you have rainbow hair? Is that? Yeah, I do have rainbow hair. Uh, <laughs> I see what he means. I see what Norman uh, it's, means. It's a it's a derivative because I used to work in the decoration industry until. Okay, you know what your hair looks like. Oh my goodness! You... Play-Doh. All right, all right. Yeah, Play-Doh. It looks like if someone were to push Play-Doh out of the pony. Hey, that's a, that's like, a first. I never heard would, people say that. It really does. Like it looks like Play-Doh hair. I think that's interesting. Are you shooting for dreadlocks? <laughs> like it's supposed to look like dreadlocks. It's supposed to look like fireworks, but it didn't come out so well. Fireworks? Yeah, it was supposed to come out like fireworks. Because I wanted like a dynamic Celestia kind of mane that's not static. <laughs> it's like shooting sparks all over the place. Oh, and God. my girl was like, Daniel, I can't draw that. All right, fine. <laughs> Daniel, oh. I, can't, I can't draw that. Um, oh, and fine you, art artist, when you want to draw Dan, just don't. Just don't. You, uh, I have yeah, you're, you're 399 Deviant Art points, so <laughs> I'm willing to cash out all of them. <laughs> just don't. For your sanity, Everyone, just don't. Everyone has an alicorn. Uh, I know it's true. Uh, it's true. All right. No, but though talking about OCs and stuff, you do have an OC, right? I do have an OC. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah. Silver Eagle is an OC. It's essentially, I mean, it looks like a Rule sixty three Derpy. <laughs> um, uh, like it looks like a guy version of Derpy. Um, but yeah, my picture is super cute. I don't know if you can see it on the show. Can people yeah, see it on the show? Uh, I don't know, on the show, no, but well, we can post I, it. I, can, I think I can do something about it. Let's see. You know, for a second, I said, oh, Silver Eagle has an OC? You mean the thing on the logo of Saints Row 4? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no. Uh, oh, that would be awesome yeah, if you uh, could do that, man. <laughs> but still, um, I'll, right, I'll right. try and see what I can do with the picture. I yeah, hope I can. Okay, my OC is cute. Yay. All right. 
Okay, um, right. the thing about um, the OC I see on your Skype is I can't see the cutie mark. What's the cutie mark? It's just, uh, uh, it's kind of silly. It's just a wing. I'm like an eagle. Mine. You know, it's a, you can see it in my, uh, uh, the Imager album down there. Like oh. one of the ones there has, has the cutie mark in it. It's kind of dumb. It's just a wing. Like, and people keep asking me what my, like, is my special talent just wing? <laughs> chicken wings. And I'm like, yeah, it's just wing. It's like chicken wing. Yeah, exactly. Mm. It's oh. oh. Looks good. You see, I'm yeah. like, is that what I do? You ask me to do a show, I just wing it. <laughs> yeah! Oh, puns. Best that's clever, and I'm going to say that from now on. Like, that's <laughs> going to be my explanation from now on. But... Why? <laughs> yeah. Because I, because I just wing it. <laughs> <laughs> copyright, copyright. Now, and if you just, I mean, if you if you you do something, then it's like I'm this guy's wing pony. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard the squee noise. Oh, it's my Facebook. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's just pony ho. Yeah, I was like, why do I hear the squee noise? And then, oh, Facebook. <laughs> it's pony ho. Uh, of course, I use pony hoof. Everyone uses pony hoof. Yep, true, true. Bronies who are on Facebook use pony hoof. So yay. Mm-hmm. I wish I, I wish I could. What you wish you could what? Internet Explorer, baby. Oh, I see. You're using the not good version of the internet. Okay. <laughs> not good because it's awesome. Yeah, uh, you know. Good yeah. is a bit of a good is a bit. It's not there, you know. It's not not good enough. Y- to you describe. know, see, uh, people who know Dan listeners. Yeah, his definition is good of good is not good. <laughs> yeah, I mean you know earlier oh, yeah, Norman asked me Norman, Norman was, you know, calling ask me whether I'm a hipster. I think I just prove it. Yep. Yeah. You're yeah. a hipster who uses Internet Explorer though. Yeah. yeah. I've never heard of a hipster who uses Internet Explorer unless you're using it ironically. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, then I, don't I mean, know. I still I still have Chrome for Google applications like Drive. So when you need to actually use the internet, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> that hurts. That hurts. Ouch! 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, feel but... the feel the burn. Feel the burn. Uh, uh, see what like I said. I'm just repeating again. And honestly speaking, uh, Pony oh the Life, God. the website is really uh, good and awesome looking. It Thank looks you. good in IE too. Yeah. Wait, does it? <laughs> Nothing looks good in IE. Hold on, I don't even know. Hold on. No, no, no. Uh, you can trust the IE fan right now. Uh-huh. All right, hold on. I'm going to the website. And, uh, uh, hold on. I'm going to make sure it looks... Oh, it does. Oh, see? See? It opened oh, it fast. Actually, it, it actually looks kind of nice. On see, the, that was oh, barely yeah. even 10 seconds. IE just opened in less than 10 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. All right. right. It, looks, it looks the same. <laughs> Like it yeah. looks the same as uh, it does on Firefox or whatever. Oh, good, good, because I never test. I don't test it on <laughs> IE because you know how many. Look, like, can I be you your IE beta tester? You can be my beta tester. Yeah. You know what percentage of people on Ponyville Live use Internet Explorer? You like zero point one? Nope. Oh, okay. I'm proud to be the zero point one, but yeah. One point five. One point five percent of everyone looking at the website is Internet Explorer. To be honest, I think those are mostly, you know, those people who go to college and there's only one browser on a computer you can't install anything it's on. almost exactly what it is. When we actually go and, like, we look, it's, like, people who can't change which browser they're using on their computer. And, and like, they're just on IE by default. You know, I like mean, that's that, what happens that's in my university, and it's IE7. I don't use that crap. I use IE10. Oh, no, yeah. Was, IE10 should look really good. Like, it, it, IE10's fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. It. It's just the old IEs that make people hate it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but still, I'm I tried using IE10, and let's just say that it ain't looking good. It's too awesome for you. Yeah, no, I, I just noticed something here with the website, and there's a uh-huh. swag store. <laughs> yeah, the swag store. We have merchandise that's like uh, PVL branded, like it's got our logo on it, and it's mm. just. The whole reason we have, like, that we sell stuff on there is just so that we can help pay the cost of the server mm-hmm. um, and stuff like that. It's just, like, a little fundraiser for us. It's oh, sort of like so to fund certain stuff like cameras and other things, right? Well, we don't have cameras. Oh, oh, oh you mean... <laughs> I thought you meant, do we sell cameras oh, no, on no. there? <laughs> like, to buy oh, no, new cameras and stuff. To buy new cameras, yeah, yeah, absolutely. 
So, um, who came up with the idea? This is a really good idea. What do you mean, the swag store? Yeah. That was Weirboard. That was my, uh, the, the associate director. Oh. Hey. Yep, he came up with that idea. It's a good idea. So, does it help, really? Does it really help with the <laughs> website maintenance? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> We don't make that much money on donations. It's for fun, course. right? It's, a, it's more of like a fun if people it's, watch it. It's more for so fun, and it's also like we've had like one or two people buy like the goofy stuff from there, like the ties and stuff. Like <laughs> the, tie, the, the tie looks cool because... Um, kind of, how do I get into the swag store? I can't find it. No, it's, uh, it's at in the, the bottom, bottom right corner. The, yeah, we can't bottom bury right? it. Yeah, yeah, bottom right under the donation button. Oh, <laughs> yeah. there it is. Ponyhole will have playing cards no, and stuff. Oh, I, I have terrible eyesight. You wear glasses. <laughs> glasses ain't good enough for me. Uh, have, uh, glasses, you know? Yeah, PVL ties. We have PVL t-shirts. Oh, playing cards. We have playing cards. I know, it's really weird. Well, but still, uh, <laughs> it, it's a good way to, well, earn some money. I guess yeah, you we, call money. Those, uh, we call those the Lost Pegasus tribute playing cards. Cause, yeah, look at that. Uh, it was a bicycle yeah. deck. Wow. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> no, but still, yeah. let's do. Are you allowed to reveal where, you know, you're hosting the site and all that? Like, what yeah. do you mean? I mean, uh, are you hosted on probably Amazon or something? No, we're not on Amazon. Uh, we're on um, – Amazon would actually be kind of too expensive for us. Yeah, it is pretty um, costly. Yeah. We're on unmetered VPSs, um, so we use uh, just a Whoa. series of VPSs that are unmetered. Uh, our primary host, and we're we're very happy with our our, our primary host, is DigitalOcean. Um, DigitalOcean. Oh, DigitalOcean. Mm-hmm. They're they're very well known, um, just because they're just they've become very popular. And and back in the day, very well priced. When they're very well priced. And and, and back when we first. Um, uh, set up the servers for Ponyville Live, they were unmetered. Um, so nowadays they, they've set a limit on like, you know, one or two terabytes of data. Still quite data. Uh, it's, yeah, it's still quite a lot of data. Um, but anybody who had an account back before that got to keep the unlimited data. Oh my gosh! Mm-hmm. So we use that for so much stuff. We use it for uh, um, uh, radio broadcasting and relays and our main homepage and just all this other stuff. So, yeah, that's our primary web host, and we're, we've been very happy with them. Who's driving so, the car? Uh, <laughs> we're, we're currently right next to a uh, racetrack. Uh, uh, no, it's just it's, oh. it's kids coming from the local college. And oh, okay. So right. it's you, all right. I was wondering. Right. I'm actually driving very fast right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Keeping, trying to keep my composure. Oh, that is, how the heck did you? you know, like, he's been <laughs> using his mic, walking from his jet to his Ferrari. <laughs> and we'll, yeah, exactly. From the jet. <laughs> it's actually just the sound of my left uh, 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 Rolls Royce jet engine uh, <laughs> spinning up. Uh, it, it's all because of those pony monies. <laughs> All because of yeah, pony, pony money. money. Buy more it's swag. Because that, it's because of that swag store. Yeah, the swag store is doing so well. <laughs> oh my! Like, um, how do you say for your relays and stuff like that? Do you run on uh, Shoutcast or Icecast? Chatcast for most of our stations. A few of our stations use Icecast just because they prefer their DJ software works better with Icecast. Um, and. and and there are some other stations that use like virtual DJ um, for most of their show hosts, and virtual that DJ works. Is, uh, uh, can work as a streaming engine. It can. It doesn't work as a streaming engine. It like they stream to Shoutcast, and then okay, Shoutcast. Right. Yeah, but it works better with Shoutcast than it does with Icecast. Oh um, yeah, and which so be better. yeah, and, and so we mostly use Shoutcast for our stations, um, just because of that. Um, By any chance, yeah. use do you use Winamp as well? Uh, some people do. I don't. Um, okay. But you know, Winamp's capable of streaming to Shoutcast. Uh, they made uh, it. It's just. It's yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They made Shoutcast, um, but it's not as. Uh, 
it doesn't have as many features to do yeah. like what I what I would do, which is like I have like voiceovers that I do in the middle of shows, and I have interviews that go on, and all that stuff, and it, it would be very hard to do with. Uh, is it completely uh, manual, or are you having like an automation system in the running in the works? What do you mean for for shows or for auto DJ? Uh, generally okay. for the time, like, you know, I mean, for both, actually. Like, let's say if a show well, on at auto, 4 o'clock... Auto DJ is... Yeah. yeah, auto DJ is completely automated. Um, and you don't that have even, to go and manually queue each show and turn off the auto DJ yourself. You know, does it queue itself? In? Right, exactly. It automatically turns itself off as a DJ comes on. Mm-hmm. That all takes okay. place automatically. Yeah, that's that's just a what? part of our setup. We use Syntovacast. What? what is that? How do you spell that? <laughs> Centova cast is C E N T O V A um cast. Uh and uh it, it sort of is a big wrapper around uh Shoutcast and it provides all these neat features like you can do scheduling on your playlists, you can do um uh you know, DJ accounts, multiple DJ accounts, um all through a website interface and uh, it's it's really it's really cool. Oh it looks good, actually. Wow, learned something new today. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So, uh, how do you say, as for the video, I noticed um, the special is hosted on live stream, but do you all have your own um, RTMP server or something like that? Uh, no, uh, not right now. Well, we actually do. We have a few, um, but uh, we don't use no them. No way. <laughs> You're going to get your own RTMP server. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> You're gonna get your own RTMP, RTMP server, like live stream server for yourself. Not live stream the company, but a live streaming server. A exclusive. live streaming server. We will probably be investing in one of those. Yes, for our. Oh my gosh! A, I know. That will be a breakthrough for Pony, for Pony Media. I got no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, Silvigo. Thanks for coming on the show and answering all our questions. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. It was fun learning new things. Like, seriously, I learned a lot. That I... I'm glad I got a chance to, to talk with you guys and um, it's to, our pleasure. Uh, learn a little bit uh, about you guys and your Bruni group, too, because uh, you guys are very unique. Oh. And I don't get to talk to people from your part of the world that much, so that's very awesome. Well, we're always here, and you're always welcome to come on again as a guest host. Yeah. Cool. You know? If you want to find out anything more about Malaysia, you know where to find it. True, indeed. <laughs> yeah. Sylvie, so once again, thank you for putting us up on Ponyville Live. That is wow. It's just wow. Yeah. It's, it's a dream come true for us. <laughs> that means a lot. Thank you. And we look forward to uh, having this episode of your podcast show up here in not too long. Yep. We expect it to be on Tuesday at uh, 12 a.m. Eastern. So, Silva, where can they find you online? Well, uh, you can find me in a bunch of different places online. Um, and, and, and some of them are Ponyville Live, like the whole group, and then some of them are just me. Um, so uh, you can find me at uh, www.ponyvillelive.com. You know, for one, that's that's you know the Ponyville Live homepage. Um, you can find me on Twitter, um, twitter.com slash silvereaglepvl. And it's all one word, and PVL is like Ponyville Live, you know. Um, Papa Victor Lingmo, right, PVL. Um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, you can find me on Facebook if you just search for Ponyville Live, and you can you can follow and like, you know, Ponyville Live through there. Or on YouTube. Um, we're on YouTube at youtube.com slash Ponyville Live Global. Mm. Um, so we added the global there as a nice little touch. Ooh, good. So, Does mm-hmm. it be like Espanol coming soon? <laughs> <laughs> the internationalized <laughs> version of our website? Maybe. I don't know. It might be something we work on, uh, especially if we start picking up, you know, more shows from across the world. We probably need to start translating. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, that's those are the main places you can find me on. So, anyway, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is shout out. So, my first shout out goes to you, Silver Eagle. Thank you for coming on. Yes, you're welcome. You're very welcome. Uh, it's been a fun experience, and the derps for this show. Oh my goodness, the derps for this <laughs> show. That's okay. That's how podcasts work. It's it's if something can go wrong, it does. Oh god, yeah. They're, they're even, Hopefully, I got all the. Lost. Oh, Murphy. I hope I got all the derps out of my system before my show later tonight. I hope so. I mean, if if, <laughs> if you do get them out, uh, thank us, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, if you do drop a lot on your show, blame it on Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Blame it on Dan. Yeah. Nice. So anyway, and oh my second shout out goes to James Cork. Um, thank you, James Cork, for that live stream. That was awesome, man. And the experience streaming with you, man, that was awesome. And Dan, what about you? Shout out to who? Well, first shout out has to go to you, Silver Eagle and Pony Hills Live. Thank you so much for the feature. That is a dream come true for us. Did you just call me Pony Hoof Live? <laughs> it sounds no, like I... you just said Pony Hoof Live. Uh, yeah. Dan is derping. Did you? Did you? I don't know. What to, I, I just don't yeah. know what went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, completely. I don't know. I can't remember what I said now. Like, All right, Dan. Uh, three, two, one. <laughs> do I do this again? <laughs> you know what? Let's, let's roll with it. Thank you, Pony, Pony Hoof Live. <laughs> Thank you, for the, uh, Pony Hoof Live. That's, that's fine. And, and the Ponyville Facebook plugin. <laughs> <laughs> the PPL uh, Facebook styling plugin. Wow. What have we become? <laughs> what have we become? I'm a monster. <laughs> no, but thank you very much for the feature. That was really something. Like, achievement yes. unlocked for us. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, man. <laughs> and uh, yeah, one more thing is to this little Facebook page that I've been following for a while. To something awesome is coming. You can see them at somethingawesomeiscoming.com. Something is happening on the 18th of October, 7 p.m. All right. Silver, what about you? Um, any shout outs to give out to? Shout out to you guys. Oh, thanks a lot. Thank you, thank you. for uh, thank you for putting on such an awesome show for as long as you have put on 83 episodes, and I guess this is 84. Um, is uh, uh, a really really awesome stretch. Um, you guys have done uh, uh, a great job. Uh, keeping your show going that long. So, kudos to you. Oh, thanks a lot, man. And uh, we, we're, I don't say anything much about our show, but I think we're one of the few that kept on going next to Bonyville mm-hmm. and uh, Bony Show. I think you might be. For as, for as long as you've gone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because shows come and go, but it's really good to have that kind of track record. True, true. That's, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I feel awkward right now because are we one of the top dogs? Because I don't see any emails. That's, yeah. We need to tell your audience. Uh, anyway, um, interestingly enough, Silver, you're talking about emails. So if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at show at gmail.com. And if you would like to email us personally, you can reach us at, Nor- well, for me, I'm Norman at com, and Daniel at com, and Charlie at com. And also, you can reach us on Twitter. My, the show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show. Trudy Bot will interact with you. She'll complain about stuff and talk about how editing the show is really hard. And you can reach me <laughs> at Norman Sanzo. And I'll talk about food, pictures of kitties, and whatever tickles my fancy. What about you, Dan? For a rather silent Twitter account that doesn't explode until I'm in extra spicy mode, yep, follow Saint Pinky on Twitter, S T P I N K I E. Saint Pinky, nice. Yep. Follow Dan if you want to feel better about yourself. <laughs> you know, because no matter how bad a day you're having, you could have your car break down on a highway in a heavy thunderstorm. But just remember, this one guy in Kuala Lumpur is having a worse day than you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, um, Silva, you have the Twitters, right? I do have Twitter. Yep. And that's. Twitter.com or, or at Silver Eagle PVL. All right. Yeah. So anyway, and also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes and Stitcher Radio and also, and also like our Facebook page. Links will be provided yeah. in the show notes. So I've been Norman Sanzo. I've been Daniel Anthony. And I've been Silver Eagle. And well, now we're on Ponyville Live. So listen to us there. Wow, I didn't imagine I would say that. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye, folks. Hashtag Denki Survivor here. Hashtag Blame Dan. Bye. Can you see it with your eyes? Are we looking at the same starry skies tonight? Or are you too far away? Everywhere I turn, I get sympathy. Just a few days and we had history, you and me. There's so much I wanted to say. We're miles and miles apart, but it brings clarity to my heart.
By the way, I found my Skullgirls beta key. So. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yay! I'm on, I'm on Steam now. Playing, Yay. I can play Skullgirls. Uh, is it multiplayer? Can you play multiplayer? Yeah, you can play multiplayer. It's one one v one. I'll totally play. I'll play against you during your charity stream. Uh, mind telling us who you are and what you do for the people who might who might not know who you are? Oh my goodness! I know. I can't believe people would have made it this far without knowing who I am. Uh, and and yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, all right, so brief introduction. Uh, my name is Silver Eagle. Um, I like long walks on the beach, candlelit dinners by the fire. Um, I'm really kind of a you know an avid movie goer. Um, I, I, I like caffeine. Uh, I, I drink a lot of Starbucks and um, oh, also ponies. <laughs> Wow, that that, that, that is... was like that was such a bad introduction. All right, uh, now. <laughs> so anyway, let's move on. Starting in three, two, one. Wow, uh, that sounds cool. So, <laughs> you know, I forgot what we talk about. So I need a lead in. I was gonna say, I was like, well, that's probably what the thing. We were talking about the I Philippines. was talking about the Philippines. Oh, cool. About, wow. you know, having a podcast. <laughs> yeah, see, uh, my, my, editing style, my editing style is, okay, what did I say? Okay, never mind. I just use something <laughs> common and that will work. If it doesn't, uh, I'll okay. cut it out. Nobody has ever used oh, cool on anything I've ever said. You know, it's like, oh, cool. this is funny calling Philippines. Oh, cool. Okay. Like, cool. <laughs> something ain't oh. right over there. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, okay. So one day, one day we're gonna have a one day we're gonna have a soundboard. Oh, it can automate the whole MBS show oh, with God. a control panel. All right. Hello and welcome to the MBS show. Deep. Okay. Anyway, let's let's continue on. Let's continue on. Okay. Three, continue. Two. Oh, this is gonna be a lovely optic. So three, <laughs> two, one. Hmm. Philippines, eh? Well, um. <laughs> I swear to God, yes, yeah, right, 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 another right, right. war. <laughs> really, <laughs> Filipino. Uh, no, no are problem. Really, oh, the hey. oh, Philippines. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Okay. I did look properly at Phone Evil Live because my eyesight sucks. And I just saw the top right side. I thought it was pricing and plans. Actually, plugins and apps. So, like, what pricing, oh, like, pricing and plans? Where did plans? you get that, man? No, no, plugins and apps. And I saw like pricing and plans. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you guys not hear about PBL Gold? Yeah, we're doing PBL Gold now, so that if you if you're a paying member, you get better pony, like than oh, everybody God. else. It's 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 yeah, PBL Gold and PBL Platinum, which PBL Platinum yeah, Prince actually. Just today. We will we will come and do acapella versions of pony songs for you. Um, actually, at your house, like we'll show up and sing Discord with you. Um, yeah, so. If if you've ever really liked pony music <laughs> and you wanted to have somebody to sing along at all times.